everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this biatch. That's right. We are back, Tommy. We're back with a 2011 DVD review uh -huh. as we continue the year that was 2011. Yes. With WWE Money in the Bank. 2011, as you can tell by the uh, by the DVD, right here. That's right. Um, we're gonna be doing the DVD review for you guys, and it is Tommy July 17th, 2011. Yes, it is a Raw and SmackDown production on commentary. Yes, on commentary we got Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, and Booker T. I love Booker. I know, he's saving grace here. Yes, he is. On commentary. Tommy, the theme song is what? It's, it's Donald Trump's theme. Yeah, from WWE. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Rainco. <laughs> uh, yeah. If someone was here, they'd say 45 all the time. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, it's a stupid money theme song. Um... Really, just a shitty production thing. To yeah. be honest with you, Tommy, we're in. We're at the All State Arena. Hi, where at? All State Arena. I bet you their toilets work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. Right there in the All State Arena. Yeah. Uh, does your toilet work at All State <laughs> Arena? I bet it does. I bet it does. Must be nice. It must be uh, fucking nice. And Tommy, we're in beautiful uh -huh. Chicago. Illinois. Sweet home Chicago. Sweet home Chicago. Bears suck, though. <laughs> You're a big Bears fan. Cubs are sucking, too. <laughs> Tommy, we got a dark match. Bulls sucking, too. <laughs> Nothing's good coming out of Chicago lately. <laughs> Except for the guy that's in the main event here. <laughs> As you're talking about the cover. On but, the cover. On the cover. Tommy, we got a dark match. We got a tag oh, team we got, attraction. We got, oh, this is the biggest dark match ever in the world. In the world. Superstars. <laughs> we got a tag team attraction. Attraction. Which I'd rather seen the Orient Express versus the Rockers. <laughs> or, I would or the Orient Express versus the Bushwhackers. Or, yeah, I'll see the Beverly Brothers and the Bushwhackers. <laughs> we got... The former WWE Tag Team Champions. You were there. I was there. <laughs> Santuna Morella and Vladimir Kozlov. Vladimir, Vladimir, where the fuck his name is? Who cares? <laughs> Kozlov. Versus two members of the new Nexus. Yes. <laughs> David Otunga and Michael McGillicuddy. Who do you fucking think went over? <laughs> I would think the new Nexus would. No, you're wrong. <laughs> of course, it was red shoes. <laughs> or blue shoes. <laughs> red shoes or blue shoes. And starter shoes, Coslock. <laughs> and the match probably sucked. Probably you could smell it right through the Allstate Arena, where they have good toilets. <laughs> Let's go with the first match, Tommy. It is the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. Tommy, we got... Sin Cara. Oh, of course he'll be there. <laughs> Who the fuck did he beat the fuck? Uh, I don't fucking know, no. We got the former Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. Yep. Because he lost it to... Uh, Ezekiel uh, Jackson. <laughs> uh, Wanna Go Hard. Uh, yep. Uh, domination. Uh, Justin Gabriel. And he's not even on the card. He's the Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> I know, he's, he's Intercontinental Champion. He's not even on the card. Uh, Sheamus. Yep. Disfigured Cody Rhodes. Yep. Heath Slater. Yep. Kane. And Daniel Bryan. Yep. Eight, eight participants. I actually forgot that they started doing eight around this time. And, I was um, like, damn, that's a, that's a lot of people. Yeah. And to but, be honest, I thought this match was pretty good. Like, you know, first I was... When you look at all the people yeah. that was involved, you're yeah. like, this is going to suck. Yeah, I was like... Because, like, I wrote them down how, how they came out, and I was like... Sankara, Wade Barrett, Justin Gabriel, come on, man. He's Slater. He's Slater. The only one I saw that was any good 
out of this whole fucking thing was Kane and Daniel Bryan. Sheamus. And Sheamus. And Sheamus. And Seamus. Yeah. I was like, the only ones that I see winning this motherfucker. And Cody Rhodes, maybe. Well, he'd be four. Yeah. yeah. It, to me, there's only four people that should be winning this fucking Money in the Bank ladder match. Cody Rhodes, Sheamus, Kane, or Daniel Bryan. Yeah. It certainly ain't, ain't, ain't the slobs. But Tommy, one of the slobs gets taken out early. Oh, yeah, he sure does. Don't he? He's used to it, ain't he? <laughs> Sick cars <laughs> used to fucking finding a ways to weasel out of everything, don't he? <laughs> no wonder Unico took his spot. I don't do jobs, brother. Uh, fuck no. <laughs> I'll get injured before uh, I do get injured before. <laughs> oh, but it's okay to do a face plant to Chavo. <laughs> get away, though, ain't Tommy Sheamus. Yeah, fucking baby blue white motherfucker. <laughs> Sheamus grab, grabs Sin Cara. Yeah, Cara, Sheamus grabs the black Sin Cara. <laughs> oh, no, he's wearing black black and white tights this time. He is, yes. With the black and white mask. With the black and white mask. And fucking he, Sheamus grabs him and goes, we know you suck, pal. <laughs> so let me show you what I, how much you suck. <laughs> Fella! Fella! He, he does the big Irish curse. Throws him onto the ladder. Mm -hmm. Through the ladder. And he goes through the ladder. And you'll tell you what, sh what Sin Cara does. What does Sin Cara do? <laughs> he goes in convulsions. He starts shaking. His hands start shaking. Then they come down by his, his feet. legs started shaking. Yeah, his legs started shaking. He's still shaking. <laughs> Even when the fucking people are walking him, he's still shaking. <laughs> I was like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. No one wants to do in this fucking match anyway. Tommy, they do a stretcher job for a little... Well, of course, he always finds ways to get out of a match, you know? <laughs> I'm going to be injured. I ain't doing no jobs. I'm remaining the Goldberg streak undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. Me and Chavo, baby. Face plant. <clears throat> Tommy, <clears throat> the members of the core. The are, Apple Core. <laughs> the Apple Core are here. And they started working together. Yeah, they, they started working together, did it? He Slater, <clears throat> Jesse Gabriel, and Wade Barrett. Until Wade Barrett wanted to climb the ladder. Yeah, Wade Barrett starts climbing the ladder. And Jesse Gabriel and He Slater goes, that ain't happened. We saw 2010. That was enough <laughs> of you, Wade. <laughs> Rare form today, Jake. Rare form. They were like, nah, fuck that. You have enough time, Wade. Um, Wild Wade. Kane... Kane uh, choke slam Sheamus on the ladder. Yep, and Sheamus which was like bounces off the ladder and falls <laughs> on the on the floor. It was it it was in between one of the other ladders that was set up, and it was on the bottom rope. And Kane grabs Sheamus and choke slams him on the ladder. He bounces off the ladder and lands on the fucking on the fucking mat, and then he falls out of the ring, <laughs> which was funny to me. Um, Tommy. Um, next we see uh, Cody Rhodes. Daniel Bryan and Wade Barrett, they're all on the on the yes. on the uh the uh ladder. Yes. Cody Rhodes gets kicked off by Daniel Bryan. Yeah, and Cody takes a big old tumble. Big tumble. So now we're down to Wade Barrett and Daniel Bryan. And Wade is setting up for Yeah, Wade wasteland. is setting up for the shitty wasteland. I think that move sucks yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. How threatening is that? <laughs> Fall away. <laughs> Fall away. Yeah, how threatening is that? <laughs> what a finish. What a finish! Fucking one of the best finishes I've ever seen. In oh, that's, that's right. You don't want to. You don't want any of the wasteland. He should. He should be on the top fifty. Uh, uh, he should. Of all I time. can't believe he didn't make the cut. <laughs> he probably did. I, I don't. I don't want to do anymore. He probably did make the cut. <laughs> Fucking then he goes. Wade Barrett goes for the wasteland on Daniel Bryant on top of the ladder. Yeah. And Daniel Bryant just elbows. Does just some elbows does some too. elbows under Wade, and you see his head doing this. <laughs> And then Tommy, he, uh, uh, Daniel Bryan kicks Wade. He kicks Wade off. And Wade falls like a fucking tree in the He forest. falls like a fucking redwood tree. <laughs> Boom. And Daniel Bryan grabs the money in the bank briefcase. So. So your winner, getting a future world heavyweight title match, is Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Which I had no problem with. I thought this money. Good match. Was, I thought this money in the bank. Ladder match was pretty good. I actually, I actually dug it. I liked it. Tommy, next we have a WWE. Now it goes <coughs> downhill. <laughs> it goes downhill big time. Right, we had a really decent, pretty good match. Oh, yeah. 
with the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. And now we got the WWE Divas, Divas Championship. Championship when the reigning and defending WWE Butterfly Come Come My Lady. <laughs> the Div I hate that belt. The Divas <laughs> Championship. The reigning and defending Divas Champion. Kelly Kelly. Ravioli. <laughs> with Eve. With Eve. Yes. As she defends the Divas Championship against Bree, Bree Belly with Nikki Belly. With Nikki Bella. Tommy. Belly. <laughs> Belly. <laughs> Tommy, this all comes about because. Well, you of tell me how this all came about here. Yes. I, 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 this is probably a good way to start a story. A great storyline. Oh, yeah. It sure was, wasn't it? Yeah. I guess Kelly Kelly was on Maximum. <laughs> maximum. Which, which is no shock because yeah. that's probably where they found her. <laughs> She was on the. Uh, she was, she on, was on the cover of Maxim magazine. Maximum, maximum impact. Yeah. What the fuck goddamn magazine is? Maxim. Yeah. Uh, magazine sucked. Yeah. And what does Nikki Bella and Brie Bella do? The bellies. What do the bellies do? They just call her a stick figure when they look just the same as fucking <laughs> Kelly Kelly does. They do. I'm sitting there like, well, aren't the fucking Bella stick figures? I was there? like this. So, they said that she's a fucking stick figure on the Maximum magazine here. Yeah. And I was like, ain't fucking Brie and Nikki the same fucking size? You're Roughly. fucking, you're <laughs> fucking stick figures too. Eek! Eek! Damn. Put some goddamn cheeseburgers in that belly. <laughs> Put some cheeseburgers out there next. God damn. Uh, Tommy, not only that, but Brie actually loses the belt to, to Kelly Kelly yeah. on, on Raw... Well, I didn't watch Raw, so I don't care. <laughs> and we didn't give a fuck about Raw. <laughs> Never, it still don't. Still don't. And uh, you'll tell you what I thought of this match. <laughs> you really want me to tell you? The match fucking sucked. Tommy, Kelly Kelly. Oh, yeah, let's go here. Kelly Kelly starts off with a head scissors. Yeah, Kelly Kelly starts off with a horrible head scissors <laughs> on Brie Bella. Yes. It looked like shit. It looked like shit. And then, Brie Bella's got her, right? Got Kelly Kelly. <laughs> The strings are over the rope where her boobies are over the rope, right? Yeah. Supposedly choking her, right? Yeah. But her tits are over the yeah. rope. Yeah. And you'll tell you what I heard. What? <laughs> Go check out Tommy's Instagram. <laughs> Literally, it sounds like Kelly Kelly is coughing fucking up a coughing hairball. up a fucking furball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> While her fucking tits are on the goddamn rope. And then... Kelly Kelly hits one of the worst bulldogs I've ever seen on fucking Brie Bella. Go check out Tommy's Instagram for that. And then, what a fucking flat finish this is. Yeah, what was it, Tommy? Kelly Kelly just throws Brie into the ropes. Yes. Kicks her in the fucking stick figure stomach. Yes. Fame asser. Billy Gunn was embarrassed by that fame asser, by the way. Yes. Cover Kelly Kelly covers Brie Bella. One, two, three. And do you, and so Kelly Kelly retains the Divas Championship. What happens out of that, Tommy? We go to the crowd. <laughs> and the crowd's sitting on their auditorium seats. <laughs> One bitch is clapping. <laughs> and then we go back to Kelly Kelly. They do a goddamn crowd shot. Just check check that on Instagram, too, by the way. Just check, that out. Just check that out on Instagram, too. They do a crowd shot. After Kelly gets the fucking victory, and nobody gave a fuck. One person. I see one guy take a drink. <laughs> one guy took a drink of his soda and beer, and you see this one girl just doing a, spat, a slow clap. A slow clap. And then that's the end of that. Fuck that match. Yeah, that match sucked. Yeah, Tommy, let's see if we can get a better match out of this one. Tommy, we got the big show. We got the world's largest athlete, Paul Big Show White. <laughs> No more BS. As he takes on the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. He does interviews now. Yeah, and this came about because Mark Henry got attacked on SmackDown. Yes. And Mark Henry returned the favor of Capital Punishment. If and, you guys and, remember, yes. And did the world's strongest slam on the announce table. And fucking hurt his knee. <laughs> and so, uh, Tommy. that's what this match is about. Yeah, that's what this match is about, Tommy. Let me tell you what I thought of this match. This match sucked too. <laughs> Tommy, it's a world's strongest slam. Yeah. 
a one, a two, and a big kick out. Yeah, yeah. Mark Henry hits the big world's strongest slam on Big Show, on Paul Big Show White. <laughs> the word BS. And uh, and Big Show kicks out. And then <laughs> Mark Henry picks up Big Show for another world's strongest slam. Yeah. And then Mark Henry does two big splashes. Covers the big show, one, two, three. Crowd didn't say a word. <laughs> but we're going to get to they say a word here soon. <laughs> say a word. <laughs> and uh, so Mark Henry gets the win over the big show. Big show, get, uh, Mark Henry gets out of the ring, grabs the chair, folds it on big show's ankle, does the big Vader uh, bomb. Yeah, the Vader bomb. You know, yeah. the goddamn, he gets on the rope and fucking does a, does a splash. Does a splash. On the way, on the ankle of the Big Show. Big Show, oh! <laughs> And what does Mark Henry do? He looks at him, deed's done, and leaves. <laughs> he walks out, right? He walks and out. And then here comes people with a stretcher. Like his, <laughs> like Big Show's ass is going to fit on a goddamn stretcher. Well, they found that out because... Well, we, we, it took him that long. Huh? He guy, can't fit. Like, he can't fit. Well, he's, goddamn, you should have known he couldn't fit. He's a fucking giant. Come on. He's a giant. He's going to fit. And then they finally get the goddamn mobile cart. Yeah. And they carry Big Show onto the mobile cart. You want to tell you what the crowd felt about this match? What they do? CM Punk. <laughs> they were doing CM Punk. They didn't give a chance. fuck about Big Show's injury. They didn't give a fuck about this match. <laughs> and then they carry Big Show off. Yeah. As they were carrying... As they were putting Big Show on this cart, all we all we all we was hearing was CM Punk chants. I was like, "Huh?" Yeah, okay. they didn't give two fucks, and the match sucked too. By the way, match did suck. Tommy, let's see if this match gets any better for you. It's a Money in the Bank. Well, it's the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match. Yeah. We have Coffee Kingston. Yep. SOS. We got Evan Bourne. Our Truth. One of your favorites. Uh -huh. Alberto Del Rio! Check out on Instagram what he always says. It's my destiny. It's up there. Tommy, the one who just broke from The Miz, Alex Riley. Yep. Say it to my face, Riley. Then we got The Miz. Yep. <laughs> one, of your, one of your other favorites, Jack Swagger. Yeah, he's involved. And Little Ray Mysterio. Tommy... You know what I'm saying well, right here, right fucking now? Before you get to the match. Yeah. Did you see when each participant came out, they grabbed a ladder? Yeah. Why? Like, literally. Like, literally all like, eight grab a fucking ladder. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, this is fucking stupid. Except for our truth he grabbed yeah, like, a little Yeah, R-Truth said fucking. Yeah, he grabbed a little one. At least he was entertaining when he did. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but he did put, put down the water bottle. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he I took, brought, he took maybe he would have brought that in the ring. Maybe he would have won this match. <laughs> He's deadly with the yeah, water bottle. Yeah, he bottles. didn't win, by the way. <laughs> yeah, of course he didn't win. <laughs> if he would have brought the water bottle. If he would have brought seven water bottles, maybe he would have got a win. Knock each one. Knock, knock all seven out, and he probably would have won that. <laughs> with them deadly water oh, bottles. Oh, yeah. And make sure they're Clover Valley or <laughs> Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne. Who the hell is Roxanne? Tommy. All hey, right. What do you think about the match? This match sucked. It did. This is the SmackDown Money in the Bank. You're looking at it like I did. SmackDown Money in the Bank don't look that good. Well, it's, let me tell you, it didn't. But guess what? That match was better than this one. I know. And considering Tommy, and we, do you know what the sad part to me is? Huh? Raw's Money in the Bank. There's only two stars that I've seen in this whole fucking match. Yeah. The Miz and Rey Mysterio. I agree. I mean, I like. And I know people. I know people are going to say, "Well, Del Rio, he won the star at this time." And to me, I don't. Think I, I, people say that he was a star. Mm -hmm. I've never seen him as a star. I've seen him as a fucking piece of shit, and he's always been a piece of shit. And that's why no one hires his worthless fucking grease monkey ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never seen anything in Del Rio. Well, well tell me, we got four, uh, former world heavyweight champion uh, Jack Swagger. Well. Check out Over the Lemon what Michael Cole thought. No one remembers him as world champion. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Jerry. And Jerry goes, yeah, you're right on that, Michael. <laughs> you're right on that, You know Michael. he wanted to say it. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, like... I mean, overall, I like Coffee Kings and I like I, Evan Bourne. I know. Alex Riley, he's all right. He's okay. But at the end of the day, 
Like, if you want to say... These the aren't only, top guys, and these aren't yeah, going to... I know people say, well, Daniel Bryan's no top guy. Well, guess what? He was on that way. He was on that way. He was getting a push. And then... Tom, this was a clusterfuck. This match was a clusterfuck, and, and this this Money in the Bank ladder match for Raw sucked. It did suck. I, I, didn't, I didn't like it. I and, really and didn't. when I was looking, I was like, man, the only ones I want to see win this motherfucker is either The Miz or Mysterio. Ray and Coffee, they leap off the ladder on the all Which these was pretty guys. cool. Um, Evan Bourne does Airborne, which is the... On everybody. Sh- yeah, on everybody. And that was pretty cool. Which is the Shooting Star Press. Which I like Evan Bourne. Yeah. Uh, Del Rio comes in as The Miz is uh, climbing a ladder, Tommy. Yeah. And he actually pushes the ladder over. And fucking The Miz... The Miz actually is holding it. Holding the briefcase and then fucking just falls. Falls. And like, turn, twink, tweaked his ankle. Yes. Or knee, something. Uh, hyper extends the knee. Yeah, so uh, he had so, to be carried out. Yeah, so the Miz is a lot of carry outs on I was this. like, well, Ray's on his own because that's the only one that has a chance now. Uh, Swagger Coffee, they actually fall off the ladder. Yeah. Then Tommy, they all climb different. They, they have like three or four ladders set up in the yeah. ring. Yeah, too at many once. fucking ladders. There's a lot. There's a lot of ladders in this ring, and. They all climb to try to get this yeah. fucking briefcase. And each one takes a tumble. Yeah. Each one. Until the last person comes down, and then the Miz. Yeah, he comes. He hobbles down. He on. hobbles down on one leg. I was like, please, dude. Please, <laughs> please. please take that briefcase. Please. And then, and then you see him hobbling on one leg, climbing up on one leg. And then Mysterio just knocks him down. Yeah, Mysterio takes him out. And now, and now the Miz just rolls out of the ring now. Yep. And Del Rio gets onto the uh, yeah. onto the ladder. They start climbing. Tommy, they get up to the top. Yes, and I'm like, all right, please, please, please say Ray's going to win this motherfucker. Please, Ray, Ray. And no, of course not. What happens? Well, I'm going to tell you what Ye- Yellow Canary does. <laughs> What's Yellow Canary do? I'm sorry, Del Rio. You've always sucked. Come on, let's don't kid ourselves. You, you know you're a fucking jabroni. And you fucking suck. It's and so does your fucking shoulder tattoo. <laughs> and your back tattoo. And whatever tattoos on your fucking crotch. I'm, so- <laughs> I'm sorry. You've always fucking sucked. You always will suck. With that fucking oily fucking hair. <laughs> and that fucking shitty goddamn smile on your fucking face. Like, he's got that face you just want to beat the fuck out of. I know, I know. And fucking... And, and he pulls... Ray Mysterio's mask off. Yeah, he snatches the and mask. And Ray's fuck doing the teeter toddle. I was like, we already know what you look like, Ray. Still grab the guy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, I, I don't know what you look like in WCW. And Just then what it. do we see? Del Rio grabs that fucking red money in the bank. Well, case. no, no. He tosses Ray off, right? Oh, yeah, he tosses And Ray, Ray lands on one of the other ladders, yeah. right? And the, like, the, the, all the entire ladders fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot all the ladders fall at the same time. Del Del Rio's got to pick one up and climb. Yeah. And he grabs the fucking Money in the Bank raw briefcase that's painted red. Yeah. So you know it's raw. <laughs> so you know it's boring. Same, same, same thing with SmackDown's painted blue so you know what brand it is. Yes. Like, people ain't that stupid. <laughs> and fucking, and Alberto Del Rio wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. And I was like, you know what? I didn't give a fuck when I saw who the winner was. And I thought this sucked. The SmackDown match was better. I thought the SmackDown money in the and bank the, was and, better. And the worst part was, a lot of these guys in the SmackDown one I didn't like. Yeah. Sin Cara, Wade Barrett, Justin Gabriel, Heath Slater. I didn't really like any of them. Really. Yeah. Where this one, I actually I actually did like a few of them. Yeah. And, it's, and it was still the worst, yeah, worst one. Yeah, it was the worst one. But uh, Tommy, Del Rio has his destiny met. Yeah, of course he does. Let's go and go with the next match. Next match, Tommy, is for the World Heavyweight Championship. You know what I noticed? Yes. All right. The uh, Divas Championship match sucked. The yes. Mark Henry Big Show match sucked. Yeah. The uh, Raw Money in the Bank match. ladder match sucked. Yeah. A lot of shit in the middle yeah. of the show. So they need to change the goddamn name. Instead, it ain't Money in the Bank no more. It's Shit in the Bank. Shit in the Bank. Uh, WWE Shit in the Bank. <laughs> At least some toilets work, right? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they all stay there. <laughs> Tommy, next is for the world. You gotta go to a fucking gas station and do it. <laughs> the World <laughs> Championship. With the champion, Randy Orton. The reigning and defending world heavyweight champion, 
Randy Beard Orton. <laughs> He's got a beard now. He has a beard. And As he takes on and defends the world title against Christian. Christian? And fucking... Tommy, we do know that uh, we we have the match at Over the Limit. Which was good. Great match. Great match. Love that match at Over the Limit. The Capital Punishment match was pretty good. Pretty good. And now we got this one here at Money in the Bank. Well, we should mention that at Capital Punishment, Tommy... Christian did have his foot under the rope. Christian did have his foot underneath the rope. And eventually Teddy Long gives Christian his one yeah. more match. And Randy Orton goes, I'm tired, tired of seeing you whining, and bitching, and complaining. <laughs> yeah. With your stupid fucking hair. And you... <laughs> yep. Uh, and Tommy... So have... they have a contract here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we have a contract signing. Christian goes, if, if you get disqualified... Or if you win by a bad officiating. Bad officiating. I'm the new world heavyweight champion. Yes. And, see Orton, and you see Orton do a credible Hulk. You don't like me when I'm angry, Christian. <laughs> you won't do like you, me. Jay. <laughs> you won't like me, Jay, when I'm fucking angry, Jay. Um, Tommy, what did you think about this match? I'm beyond. Now, of course, this this is the rubber match. This is the trilogy. Yeah. What um, do you think? I'm going be honest. This is probably the worst Orton and Christian match. This is the worst of the trilogy. Yeah. Now, once again, the match was eh, okay for what it was. For this reason. It's all about, is Orton going to get pissed? Yeah. Is Christian going to win his one more match? Yeah. Tommy, it starts off with with, uh, with Christian going outside and grabbing a yeah, chair. Yeah, he grabs his chair and then holds his back out and says, you want to hit it? Yeah, come on. We know, and Randy we know you want to hit fucking, it. Uh, chair out of the way and starts plummeting, pummeling on Christian here. And eventually Tommy, after that Christian says fuck it. Yeah, Christian says fuck it. And he spat. He spat. He spat in the beard of Randy Orton. <laughs> right, right, in right in the beard. Right in the beard. And Orton wipes it off and starts beating the shit out of Christian. Pushes the ref out of the fucking way. Low blow by Randy Orton. Oh, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So you're winner and new world heavyweight champion, Christian. Christian. And Randy Orton goes, fuck that. He puts him on, he grabs, of course it has to be the Spanish announcer. <laughs> of course it has. Poor Hugo and Carlos. <laughs> Poor Carlos and Hugo. They need to do a compilation <laughs> of the Spanish announce table. The Spanish announce table, that's right. And fucking so, Randy Orton puts Christian up on the Spanish announce table. Yes. RKO, Christian dangles off of it. Yeah. And what does Orton do? <laughs> Sticks out his tongue. And then, he goes, I ain't done with this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't done with him yet. And, and Christian, well, Christian's down. He does, and you'll tell you how, how he's down. Huh. Like. <laughs> yeah, he is like that, yeah. And then Christian, and then Orton puts him back on there. Mm -hmm. He's picking him up. <laughs> Randy, we're making these fucking, go on Instagram, these ugly dog faces like he just had a whole bunch of fucking warheads. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? RKO, Christian again takes the tumble. Takes the tumble. And then Randy Orton goes, well, I'm done here. Yep, fuck it. <laughs> and then he walks out. And then uh, Christian gets uh, carted off like Triple H of 04. <laughs> but, but with just referees. <laughs> Instant evolution. <laughs> And that's about the... I'm say this was probably the worst match of their of their matches. Now, once again, I can understand the whole story behind yeah, it, but... But, but uh, I'm sorry, but if I had to choose, this is probably the worst one they had. Oh, yeah. It, it It's definitely the worst one of the trilogy. Tommy, let's get to the main event. Yeah, now it's time for the main shit event. Shit in the Bank. WWE Shit in the Bank. 2011. 2011, we got the reigning... And defending WWE champion John <coughs> Cena. Boo. Yeah, we hear boo. I'll try to do Justin Roberts like he did Moxley there. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, how stupid is he? I'm sorry, Justin Roberts, you, you're a horrible ring announcer. I'm he sorry, is. you are. He is. Like, you're probably, you're worse than Tony Chimmel. You're worse than Mike McGurk. You're worse <laughs> than fucking ha 
Actually, you can't even hold a candle to Howard Finkel. <laughs> he, couldn't even, uh, he couldn't even hold fucking Howard Finkel's Finkel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell, even Tom Miller's better than you. <laughs> I love we're, Tom. And now we're introducing the proponents. Tom Miller's good. <laughs> no doubt. As he takes on Tommy Chicago's own. Chicago's own. The crowd's going wild for CM Punk. It's fun. It, it's funny how how uh, in the Kelly Kelly match the crowd went mild, but they went but wild when Punk for CM Punk. Showed up, the crowd went wild. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, we should mention that Tommy uh, CM Punk was suspended. Yep. And but. Cena said, "I want CM Punk reinstated." So he gets reinstated. And uh, we do know that uh, CM Punk's uh, contract <laughs> is expiring with the yeah. WWE. And this is where we get the famous, well, the infamous now, Pipe Bomb yes. promo that he, that he did on Raw. When he was wearing a Stone Cold shirt. Yeah, he was wearing a Stone Cold shirt and he sat on the, uh, on the uh, stage the stage, and pretty much just said that... Saying uh, everyone's an ass kisser. Yeah, everybody's an ass kisser. And, oh, I want my cup. I want, I want my ice cream bars. But you, you got them here last time, didn't you? <laughs> you got they weren't that good. Even Punk said that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and pretty much saying that uh, when Vince, uh, he, he'd like to think that the WWE would be better when Vince uh, passes away, but he's just going to give it to, to the to his, to to his doofus son and all and the rest of his stupid family. Yeah. Well, so, I like I feel the same like that when I see Tony Khan. <laughs> I'm being honest. Khan, Khan. Uh, Tommy, <clears throat> Vince McMahon. Oh. Vince McMahon's pissed off because yeah. he, he can't sign CM Punk. Yeah. Well, he can't re-sign CM Punk. <clears throat> and, he said, and, and he told Cena, if you don't yes. beat CM Punk, then you're fired. I was like, well, didn't that happen in 2010, Vince? <laughs> you know you're going to hire him back in a month. <laughs> you're going to hire him back in a month. <laughs> like you did in 2010. Yeah. Um, the old, uh, Tommy... This match... This match was great. This match was really good. This match was fucking great. But I have a problem. The only... Problem I have yeah, the, is all the false finishes. There was a lot of false Too finishes. Too many fucking false finishes. And that's... <clears throat> you know, once again, that's just our taste. Yeah. You know, some people may like it. I don't care for it personally. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of a lot of false finishes. If you have a couple, that's fine. If you have a lot, a little overdone. <laughs> yeah. Just for me. But Tommy, we get an AA. Yep. And, uh, we see, um, CM Punk kick out. Yes. He knees Cena right in the fucking face. Right in the, right in the chin. You see his chin gets up. <laughs> yeah, you see his chin just go up. Because they actually did the replay. Yeah. And you see the fucking... And uh, I have a problem here. Mm-hmm. A lot of people shit on Cena and say he's never had good matches. Well, yeah. here's one right here. And I don't want to hear people say, oh, the only reason he had a good match was CM Punk was in there. Uh, he had a lot of great matches with Edge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He had people a lot of great matches wanna... with uh, Shawn Randy Michaels, Orton. Randy Orton. Yeah. Uh, Batista and that. And, that, and, that, and that's yeah. hard to do. <laughs> yeah, see? So, he Undertaker. had a good match with Triple H. The Undertaker. Undertaker. So... So, Cena could put on great matches with a lot of people. JBL. JBL, yep. And, and right now, he's, he's putting on the clinic with CM Punk. CM Punk, like, CM Punk's great and all. But John Cena can put on great matches as well. Uh, STFU was actually countered. Yeah. CM Punk got him in like And of course, a, it's the Cena haters. You know? Yeah, the Cena. Well, uh, hey, I'm not a Cena fan either, but I respect the guy. I do too. Tommy, there was a multiple AA and GTS attempts, but uh, none of them were really um, captured on, yeah. except for we get a second AA, and then we get another kick out. Punk does a running knee into the corner, and does the GTS Yep, go to sleep, but uh, Cena actually falls out of the ring. Yes, yeah, so... Uh... So CM Punk gets out of the ring, picks Cena back up, and throws him in the ring. And Tommy, the camera pans to the entrance way. Yeah, and here comes Vince McMahon and the uh, vice president of talent relations who killed OVW, John Stinky Itis. 
<laughs> John Laryngitis. I'm, I'm sorry, he did. Yeah. He ruined that relationship. He did. And then he asked why he couldn't find no talents, because he always hired Maxim models. <laughs> Ain't that right, Johnny? Johnny Ace. Motherfucker. But, uh, and Tommy, uh, uh, Cena actually gets CM Punk in yes. the, in the, ST, well, in the, the STF. STFU. FU. And fucking Vince is going, come on, ring that bell. Oh, we're going to see a 97 again. Huh? <laughs> we're going to see a screw job. Huh? Oh, we're going to see a Brett 97 here. Huh? <laughs> so wonder CM Punk and Brett are always in coups. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and fucking John Laurinaitis, John, John Laurinaitis runs. Cena just clotheslines him. Down he goes. Yeah, he goes down. In his fucking shitty suit. In his shitty suit. And fucking, in his sucker suit. <laughs> in his sucker suit. And then Cena tells Vince, I don't want to win like that. And then Cena gets in the ring. Slides right in. Slides right in. Runs right in to go to sleep by CM Punk. One, two, three. The crowd pops. Crowd pops. Your yeah. winner and new WWE champion, CM Punk, Phil Brooks. <laughs> and Tommy. <clears throat> and this is the only time Chicago's done so much B yeah, stuff. Yeah, big pop. Tommy. And, and Vince. here comes and Vince running. Goes to Lawler, takes his headset off, and Lawler goes, what the fuck are you doing? Why don't you, why don't you take Michael Coles away? <laughs> but well, I guess Lawler's closer. <laughs> Lawler's closer. And Lawler goes, okay. And, and what does Vince do? God damn it, turn that goddamn music off. And then he goes, all right. Subi Del Rio is like, please no. <laughs> please no. And then here he comes down with his titties bouncing. <laughs> And uh, all CM Punk does kicks the grease out of his head, out of his head. <laughs> yeah. And runs out, climbs over the barricade, gives Vince a big old kiss. He blows Vince a kiss. Climbs over, goes through the crowd, right on the exit, holds the WWE Championship, fade to black, WWE logo, and that's the end of WWE Money in the Bank 2011. 2011. Um. We should go to the extra real fast. There was one extra, of course. Yeah, there was one extra. And what was it, Tommy? Well, Daniel Bryan, you know he won the SmackDown Money in the Bank, the only good one so far. Yes. <laughs> and Matt Stryker wearing a white fucking dress shirt with blue jeans and a <laughs> ugly-ass tie. <laughs> well, you know, no one thought you would win, Daniel. <laughs> well, that's no shock. Uh, I've been fired, hired, fired. <laughs> yeah, dang, you're right on that. Yeah, yeah. Necktie laws. Yeah, necktie laws. Once you choke back strike with his shit on the ass tie. <laughs> and fucking, uh. And then fucking. And my strike goes, Well, I believed in you, Daniel. Shakes his head. That's about the end of that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, What the fuck is this? I was like, Not needed. Tommy, worst match on the card. Kelly Kelly, Brie Bell. <laughs> Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly and, and Brie Bella, yes. You can tell you the others. Big Show Mark Henry and the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match. Yeah. Those were pretty shitty. Uh, best match on the card. Of course, CM Punk versus uh, John Cena. And the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I, agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree, you know. I agree. I agree. I concur. Uh, definitely the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match in the main event. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, Orton and uh, Christian. This is probably the worst out of their trilogy. Trilogy. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the worst out of their trilogy, no doubt. Uh, still like them both. Yeah, still like them both, regardless. But uh, yeah, let me get over here so I can see what the hell the next paper you is going to. Oh, next is SummerSlam. Remember. It's SummerSlam. Yes, I have it written down right here. WWE SummerSlam uh, 2011. It's the next one, guys, for 2011. The biggest party of the summer. The biggest party of the summer. SummerSlam 2011's next. SummerSlam 2011. So, guys, come back to the rest of the Rampage YouTube channel to hear what we have to say do. about SummerSlam yeah, 2011. Or SummerSlam. SummerSlam. 2011. <laughs> 2011. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2. You can follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. You can also... Follow uh, us on uh, on Instagram. Yep. And uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. Because we're that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better.